Welcome hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Yes, that is a mouthful. Um, I hope the music in the background isn't too loud. It shouldn't be much louder than it was the last time I recorded the uh, words. The last time I recorded this. Um, I currently, I don't know what car that I have to do on here. Um, last video, the last time I was supposed to post a video, um, I recorded it and everything, and I ended up not posting it, um, because the car didn't work at the end. It was the little Fiat, uh, 595, I think is what it was, um, and it just, it would work everywhere except for, um, on the actual road. Um, oh yeah, I did this a little bit ago. I found out how to hook a supercharger on an engine, which I kind of like, I kind of don't like the method in which you have to do that. Because you have to edit the game files in order to do that. And with this car, I wanted it so you couldn't see the engine coming out of the hood. But you can. And that's not the vehicle I was looking for anyway. So I'll see you at the other garage, or the other uh, parking lot. Okay. I'm sure we can pick something out of here. This is the car I was looking for. It's missing quite a bit more than I thought it was last time. Just just to be real. Um, I did have... I want to do this one too. Every vehicle in here that's not already fixed, I want to do. But I had a Nomad in my garage, and it was missing a wheel, but yet it was parked on like the regular road. Which I thought was weird, but let's move this into the garage. I don't know what color I want to make it. But I'm thinking some kind of red. I'm not 100% sure yet, but uh, let's... Uh, A. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to have to fast forward the um, tearing apart of this car. Because it looks like it's not going to take much at all. Um... And the other thing is, they now have these cars on the Steam Workshop, but the way I currently have them downloaded is not through the Steam Workshop. <laughs> so I'm hoping that things don't get messed up along the way. That would not be in my interest. Um... I would, there was, I had an idea, because I did it with that, um, partially with the, um, that black Bel Air I showed you guys that was in, uh, <clears throat> the first parking garage. You saw that it looked like it was a piece of crap, but it had a supercharged V8 in it. What I did with that was I tore the entire car apart. I... All the performance, like... Everything on that except for the body. And, like, the body panels and bumpers and glass. Like, everything on it but those in the wheels and tires are brand new. So, I made it look... Like, 
a piece of crap. So I, I made like the ultimate sleeper with a supercharged V8. Okay, we're almost done with her. Gotta just pull the engine block out. Thanka. Oh, the battery. I shit, I have to click into the engine and fucking Spider-Man over to the battery. Don't I? Spider-Man. Okay, so the car is completely empty. Uh, so... Actually, is there even... Okay, there's no steering wheel and literally nothing in it. So let's not go to the toolbox. Let's take this and move that over to E. Throw the battery on here while we're over here. Um, I'm planning... Actually... The engine that I thought that should be in this is like the blue one that you find in the uh, Smith 1500. Like, I think that that engine would go good in this, considering, like, the era. Actually, this is older than that. Um, but let's first clean it. And I'm really hoping... Oh, look how clean it is. Not that it really is. This is when it's actually going to do something. Ta-da! Oh, yeah, I didn't take the trunk off yet. Wait a second, or whatever that is. Oh, that's the seat. Yeah, that th these old cars, like that piece would flip up and it would become a seat. Like the back row seating. What is, is that rusted or? That looks rusty to me. Well, these definitely look rusty to me too. But that strip looks... Maybe that's wood. Yeah, I, I could imagine that being a wooden strip. Okay. So we got them off that side. We got them off this side. There's no tail lights except for those ones. And now there's no tail lights. And there's a wheel. Okay, so I am, I will be right back. I'm going to buy as many of the parts as I think should be, um, like, I want to get all new stuff. Or, like, I want everything 100%, and I'm going to buy as many performance parts as I can, um, because I want this to be a little faster. And I don't have a problem with using performance parts on, like, any cars. The thing I don't like is... Um... Doing stuff to the exterior. That looks weird. Okay, so I will see you when all those parts are bought. Okay, I just bought all the parts. That's a lot of money. Um, let's... Start getting these bad boys put in. Um, <clears throat> I know for a fact that I do not have all the parts. Um, I didn't get all the parts yet because the way that these mod, like the modded cars are, um, or ones that people made that you got from the Steam Workshop, they're not accurate. I guess, like, they use parts from, like, different cars like I don't know how to explain it like stuff that normally wouldn't go together like probably this like the exhaust eh maybe no that seems about normal I'm trying to think of something that actually wouldn't go together like it does on here just trust me it, it's not accurate to how it should be like I don't know and I also haven't worked on the i6 engines that much um so I don't know 
off the top of my head like the uh, overhead valve V8s. Like the overhead valve V8s, if you put me in the store once, I can buy every part for it. Because I know what parts it needs. But with this, I haven't really u done this engine that much, and I also, um, I also haven't played in uh, almost a month. I should have, honestly, to uh, earn some more money. But the thing is, what I try to do is not do a car that I haven't done yet. That way, it doesn't like spoil it when I get to the point of. Um, making a video on it and the other thing is that there are parts that I'm gonna have to go back to the other store for because uh, I want every part that's performance that you can get is what I want I don't want all stock stuff and yes I already got all the tires done I did all the tires and the suspension. I usually do that um, in the video before I start to get back into recording it. Or, yeah, recording it. Like, when I buy all the parts, I build the wheels and the, um, like the double wishbone suspension arms. I do that because they take a little bit and it's boring. I don't want to put the bearing. You gotta put the cap on. Great disc. Slappy Cho. The thing that surprised me about this car is that it has uh, brake discs and calipers. You'd think that at least the back would be drums, but it's not. So this is, I guess, fairly updated, or whoever made it wanted it to, I don't know have better brakes because drum brakes I guess aren't that good which would make sense because they're old and then you come up with better designs in the future our inner suspension or yeah inner tie rod not inner suspension arm you fucking idiot what's wrong with me I know exactly what's wrong with me I fucking woke up and decided you know what I should do right now record a video even though I was up I wasn't up that late last night streaming which if you haven't checked out my streaming channel you should uh, it should be down in the description um, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash console hoarder all one word lowercase letters now that that's that's how you do that, right there, boy. Okay, so we need to plop over here. Put that in. Let's do I honestly the doing the back of the cars, like the back suspension components, that is my least favorite thing. I don't know why. I think it's cause like especially on the mod ones, there's so many like so many more small parts than what there normally would be. Like I said, because I definite. Oh, okay. I bought B. That's probably why I thought it was A, or I, I thought it was B. Obviously, it wouldn't have been that. Like, even with the suspension, most people would do, um, the leaf spring suspension on the back of older cars. But they decided to put, like, a newer suspension on it, so it's a lot more components than what the car probably would have in real life. And I should put all the rubber bushings in this before I forget and then try to drive it and then they tell me sorry you can't drive it because you're missing some fucking parts Captain Knuckles 
Does anyone remember that TV show? I don't even remember what it was. Like, what the name of the TV show was. Oh my fucking god. <clears throat> I can't even fucking breathe. Fucking... I'm all stuffed up. Um... Tomorrow, I'm doing a driver video again. Um, I was honestly thinking... Maybe for the older games, if I could get them for PC, maybe I should get them again for PC. Um, instead of for console, because it... I don't... It's more convenient with the older games, because the way everything is set up. Um... Yeah. I don't know, I do, I prefer using a controller, which is why I prefer a console. But there's certain games like this that it works so good with, um, just the mouse and keyboard. Uh, we need, I honestly would have forgotten those, and I did for a little bit. That's the thing I hate about the fucking bushings, they're so cunty and you never see them. And I missed the fucking end link on the other side, too. Hello. Then I can put on my fucking springs. I feel like since the last update, everything on here... I wouldn't say runs faster, but I feel like the mouse moves a lot quicker than it did. Bippity boppity bacon. We'll go over here. Uh, and I'm going to grab the other parts. That I needed, so it was suspension arm, or not suspension arm, fucking shock absorber A, right here. And I bought two B's instead. Like a fucking idiot. Okay, go to the back. Right there. And one more. And a hundred more. Uh, did I get? Yeah, yeah, I did because I got the performance one, boy. Uh, I know I don't have that front exhaust section. I should have the crankshaft. So now we gotta lower the car. I should have probably hooked on the uh, transmission first. Not that it'll make a difference, but. I don't know. I like getting things done, like, quicker on here. And I got all performance pistons, performance spark plugs, everything that you can get performance, I bought performance. Gotta get that extra horsepower. I mean, if I'm building a car for myself on here, I'm making it the way I want it anyhow. Come on. Oh, is this only a six-cylinder? Son of a bitch. I, f I bought everything for an eight-cylinder. Wow. It, it's getting... I don't know. It, the mouse feels definitely different in a way. That or maybe I'm having a stroke. Okay, I need I-6 camshaft. Do they have the I-6 under performance? Because I definitely bought them, but I bought the wrong ones. Where are the camshafts? Okay, so they do have the i6. Now the fucking mouse seems slow. Oh my god, I'm gonna stab someone. Are you shitting me? So those are... I need the camshaft caps. I-6 camshaft caps. 
See, from where I'm at now is what you guys saw. It was like all the engine that there was when I bought it. So I need to cam... Uh, I'll just fucking type it in. Uh, I6. I needed... I'm gonna say... 12? I was guessing. I don't know. One, two... No, I bought a little... Fuck. Oh well, we'll go back get a couple more. Shut up. This tedious shit pisses me off for some reason. Don't know why. And I also didn't get the fuel filter, but now that I see it there, I know that I have to get it. But we're gonna try to make this bad boy into a beast. I also don't think that the engine is centered with the vehicle. And I hope this one at least moves. Either way, I am putting this one up. Oh yeah, I need two more. Might as well get the fuel filter while I'm there. I also didn't buy the distributor or any parts for it. Okay, we needed... What did we need? We were just here, and I already don't remember what we need. Or, we just figured out what I needed, and now I don't remember what I need, but I do need this. It's nice to have that. Okay, we needed the fuel filter. That's what it was. And then the yeah, I6 distribute the cat. Honestly, I'm not going to get that yet because I'm not sure if that's going to be the one. Because I think that's the one that you use for the I6, like the blue engine. So let's put on this because currently in the game, I am currently low on money. So I don't want to accidentally overspend on something. Figure get that while I'm here, so I don't forget. Okay, those are Cam Gears I6. Do they have them under performance? I don't think they have any Cam Gears on here. They don't. I need me I6 Cam Gear. The, just the regular I6. And I also don't have any timing parts. So there's going to be a lot of going to the store and coming back. <sighs> Damn radiators. I also didn't get the water pump. <laughs> Fuck. And I don't have the head cover. Well... Okay, so we need the water pump, head cover, um, probably the timing chain. If it has a chain, I don't know if this one has a chain or a belt. But let's do the transmission. And then the uh, drive shaft. Get that out of the way so I just don't have those parts in my inventory. Honestly, I think this is the first time I ever used this transmission, too. I mean, not that it makes a difference. It's just the case. Every transmission in this game is the same other than the case. Like, the inner components are all the exact same parts. 
um, now we can add on our exhaust section, our beautiful exhaust section. I don't have the manifold or anything of that. Come on. That's, I want to swing. Okay, let's do all our caps on the bottom of the engine. Let's hope we can see all the caps at the bottom of the engine. I didn't buy enough caps. I already know it. Come on, you fucking bitch. I know I bought enough piston caps, but I didn't buy enough um, crankshaft caps. So I need one. I probably need two or three more. Nope, just two. That's about right. Two crank shaved bearing caps. Get those two, and while we're here, um, I need the I six cover, and I need the water pump. I probably also need the I six manifold. But I don't know where the fuck. I don't think that that's the one. And if it is, I think you need two of them. Okay, water pump, water pump. Need me I six water pump. Uh. That, it, it's is it that one? It looks like it was that one, so I'm gonna buy that one. Probably isn't that one though. Last cap, and then our oil pan. Good. At least I bought the right oil pan. Okay, so we should not have to put the car back up again. I said shouldn't. That doesn't mean we won't. Yeah, see, told you. Told you we had to get two of these. That's a lot of fucking bolts. I mean, for a game, I'm sure that's the exact number that they probably have in real life. Usually they don't make you bolt it to the front exhaust section. I don't know why. Actually, I should have looked on the other site to see if they had the um, manifolds. Um, one of my... Okay, I need three two-barrel side draft carburetors. Three, Jesus. I don't remember ever having other than like the higher muscle cars. I've never really had any cars with three carburetors. Look how shiny. This is the first time I even used the side draft carburetors. And now I need to get... God damn. They just keep giving me more parts. They're like, here, you gotta get this next one on now. Um, starter, since I have it. Um... Okay, those are the right... The round, regular round side draft ones. Did I get the right? No, I didn't. Why would I have? But I did get the right alternator. 
Okay, what? Okay, the I six timing chain. I I'm botching this one up pretty good, huh? Um, they have. Do they have the side draft air filters on here? If they don't, okay, good, 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 good. Um, what was it that I wanted to look for? To see if they had it. Um, oh yeah, the, yeah, they do. They fucking do, they have it. So I guess I'm gonna replace that. Okay, I needed the water pump in which I should have gotten in the first place, but I went against my own thoughts. Got that, um, I6 should be this one, but my luck it won't be. Um, let's just look for the I6 belt. Because I know I'm probably going to have to come back and get one. A for the I-6. Where is B for the I-6? If it has a B. So I'm going to probably need a bunch of rollers and shit too. What else did I fucking need? I don't remember right now, so I guess it wasn't important. Yeah, yeah. Those look pretty fucking cool on here. And for the car, most people, like, if this was real life, I'm pretty sure most people wouldn't expect to see these on a car like this. Well, not a car like this, because this is a pretty good fucking car. I need a timing chain sprocket. And a water pump pulley. Water pump pulley, timing chain sprocket. What was the water pump pulley? That is for a supercharger. Water pump pulley, timing chain sprocket. This is the first time I ever had to use a timing chain sprocket as well. So you can obviously tell I haven't worked on this engine much. And I'm probably going to have to get radiator fans and shit that I was unaware of. What ones I had to get so I just didn't get them. Crankshaft pulley I-6. Go way up to the seas. Uh. It's amazing to me how when I first started this game, I it would have taken me like three minutes to find that part, and then I just scroll up, I get a fucking glimpse of it, and I'm like, there it is. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, I need... Okay, so that's why I did that. Because I didn't know if I was going to have to get the regular or the I-6. Um, however, I believe there's one component of the distributor that um, you can't get the upgraded version of. I, I think it's the clips. I'm going back down or back up. I think it's clip B. And then let's get our distributor, our entire distributor. I'm probably going to need ignition coils. The distributor is there. There it is. Wanted to get that distributor cap. Got that. Um. I don't know what ignition coil I'm going to need, so I'll get that when 
I find out what one goes on this vehicle. I need the fuck. I knew it. I knew it. The I think the community camp. Fuck you. I hate the fact that they do that shit. And then it's gonna be the other clips too, isn't it? No, I got the right clips. I love the fact that in this game as well, if you don't have the clips on your distributor, it'll be like, sorry, doesn't work. Car won't start. Just won't start. No radiator fan at all. Okay, so it's air cooled. So we need take these off because we've got better cleaner looking ones I mean I don't have a problem with these manifolds but if I can get more power I'm getting them every single last one did I not need those ignition coils Or did the person that made this mod do something wrong? Oh, uh, okay. So the, the the way those wires are set up is... Okay, so they're already on it. Whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. Um, I'm going to go down the list, see if I missed anything other than body panels. And it looks like I have everything except for oil so technically the car will run but I would prefer to have it bloop prefer to have all the other things on it uh, what is the name of this car oh it's a replica you fucking bitch D E. And Delray. Oh, Jesus Christ. D L A. Come on. This is really fucking slow. Okay. We got we got all the parts we want now. Honestly, I'm gonna buy all of them again because I know there's a couple parts um, that I already have. Um, I already have the left tail light, and there was a couple fenders that I already had, but I don't remember what ones. So if I don't remember what ones, I'm just not buying it. Weird looking trunk. Ah, oh, that looks a lot better with a grill. Looks like fucking futuristic, even though it's fucking old. Okay, we need... Oh, I gotta put the taillights on yet. We're pimping. Isn't that beautiful? Um, we need interiors for this. I don't know if, if they put on, like, their own custom interior. Okay, they didn't. So, do we need... I want to look real quick, see if it's a bench seat or two separate seats. Um, okay, so it is just a front bench seat. I think I'm going for a brown with this. 
front bench seat. Something that's not going to look stupid in the front of this. Uh, let's move it over to paint shop. It's probably going to be like, you need a license plate for this. And I'm going to be like, uh, why? Um, usually that is her. Yeah, I figured there'd be no no liveries. Um, pearl and pink car. It should look better when it's outside. There we go. Look at that beautiful car. That's why I wanted like the the brown interior because I knew it looks good with red. Actually, why did I move it in here? I should have moved it into, um, into the, not the test path, the fucking dino, boy. A little less walking then. Ready to test this beast? Yeah, I want to run it. I wouldn't have brought it in if I didn't want to run it. Okay, factory is 165 horsepower. That was a fucking steep drop off. Okay, so we brought it up to 281. So I gained 71%. That's not bad at all, actually. So we got her, we got her going fast. So now, may I take a seat on the wrong side of the car? I'll just start it from over here. Can we drive it? Oh, it has suicide doors. Um, let's drive it at the airport. Hopefully it'll let us. Oh, it's a beast. I legit would drive this every day. Without a doubt. Look how fucking badass. It's probably, if it was real, probably worth quite a bit of money yeah boy um well I'm probably gonna end the video at that I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to watch one of my previous next and related videos and also remember to check out my other social medias in the description down below.